Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. It's your boy, Big Dog Banner, and as promised, I am up recording um, the video for the three NFL games we do have today. Um, we're here for a good time, not a long time. I'm not trying to hold nobody back from no good family time or no good eats. Uh, before we get started, make sure you like, subscribe, turn those noties on. Uh, it's currently 1.30 in the morning. That's why my camera's off, because it's completely dark in my office. But Work need to be done. No days off, right? So let's get straight into it. First, we got the Chicago Bears and Lions, which kick off at 12.30 p.m. Eastern. First game of the slate. Um, if I if we see anything, it's not necessarily I'm playing it, but what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start adding it to the bet slip. So at the end, we can kind of like just look here. I'll scroll up and down depending on what's on there. So you can get like a screenshot or a play, pause, however you want to do it. So at least... It's kind of like a summary of the stream. I'm going to start doing that now. All right, so out the gate. Again, we're looking for defensive weaknesses. So we're looking for, just like we do any other day, we're looking for green or bright green spots on the defensive side that we feel that the offensive player has an advantage and can potentially go further or um, be productive in that area. So uh, out the gate. Um, Lions got a pretty good defense, so I'm not expecting too much here. Okay, here we go. So we got 18.8. So 19 yards receiving. They're allowing to the running back one. Uh, DeAndre Swift is averaging 28. So seeing that both sides is green, almost bright green here, is bright green here. I'm going to add this 14 and a half. Uh, and again, it will show the best book, not necessarily the only book. Let's see. Yeah, see, it's on other books as well. They're just telling you where the best line is at. Um, but again, I just want to add them. So you can play it on whatever book you have it at if the odds are decent enough for you. So we're going to keep that. Um, you can, But you can go rushing yards route. Uh, you can go rushing plus receiving route. I'm just going off of like where this little brighter green spot at where he should have it based on his line. Uh, where we go, DJ Moore. Okay, D their defense is allowing six receptions to the wide receiver one and seventy-eight yards. Now his line is four and a half, but I don't like these odds at minus one fifty. Seeing that's the best odds on the board, so again they're giving up seventy-eight yards. His line is fifty-five. So let's see, sixty yards. We have plus money. What about seventy? All right, they're giving up seventy-eight. Okay, so we'll do seventy yards. We'll add that to the bet slip. Um, this should be a quick stream. It's only three games, y'all. But again, I told y'all I was going to pre-record it, so I'm a man of my word. Uh, 53 yards. His line is 51. For me to take the line, I'm going to need to see both sides green. Um, at least. I only need to see the defensive side, like bright green, if I'm going to take an all-line over. Did I miss anything? Nope. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. All right. Now we done got over to the Detroit side. Um, they're giving up 14 yards rushing to the quarterback on four attempts. He's averaging two attempts for three yards. So again, you know, I, I really don't think too much into it. I just follow the read. So seeing that this is green and this is green, I'm going to add this one and a half. Again, I'm just adding it to the best slip. You take what you like, but at least we're going to be able to keep. Damn, look, they telling you where the best parlay at for it. But again, that's not the point. I'm not necessarily playing everything I'm showing you. I'm just going to keep putting it over there so we can at least know what's what. Um, David Montgomery, I see he's questionable, but look like he's in a great spot. So, again, I'm going to go off of where I'm seeing the most potential. Now, I see 20, <clears throat> 24 receiving yards he's uh, averaging. They're giving up 18. His line is 11, but you're not going to get no alt line. Let's see, yeah, you're going to have to go to 20. So it's looking like by them giving up 96 yards, uh, what is this? Uh, Russian receiving. Do you get an all line here? They're giving up 96. So we can at least see you can get 75, you can get 100, but I don't want to go up to 100. Let's see if we can get some. What about here? They're giving up 78 yards rushing. 60, what about 70? Um, ain't the best attempts. Yeah, so I don't really know which way I want to go here. I guess if you're gonna go, if they're giving up the rushing and the receiving, you probably best to go here. 
and then that's 75 and then this would be 100 so i'm not gonna go up to 100 um but let me see and he has like a little pattern here so he should be due for a good game. Good game off, good off. It should be a good game. They're giving him 96, so I'm going to do the 75, and it's at plus money. So I'm going to add this. Again, you take what you like once you're done, but I'm just seeing from what we can see defensive weaknesses. Um, and then you got to be careful. You never know who's going to get the most touches between these two. It's a split backfield. They split the touches. You can even see, like, last game he had 21 rushes. He had eight. So... I don't know if he had got hurt or whatnot, but it's just something to keep in mind. Um, St. Brown, I see he scored down there every game, but see, the thing is, it don't look like they're giving up a lot of uh, touchdowns to the uh, wide receiver one spot. But again, you know, you make that call. <clears throat> um, Jameis, I don't think they have his receiving yards. Hmm. I would definitely keep an eye on this and look into that. Tim Patrick. There's somebody like you can see, like right here, wide receiver three. They're giving up two receptions. Oh, he's averaging two receptions, 26 yards. They're giving up 28 yards. His line is 21. So, again, seeing that both sides are over his line, I'll add uh, his line just to get us some pieces. Another one, Sam Laporta. He's averaging 39 yards. His line is 37. They're giving up 45 to tight ends, to the main tight end. So I'll add this, just so we know we got some pieces. This is actually the most pieces we done found in a long time. No gems, I don't think. No, but again, it's generally not when we're looking through these, like, one game or two games on them, like, what they consider, like, prime time or, you know, sh stuff like that. Sunday is way easier. All right. We move to the Giants versus Cowboys. Now, this should be an interesting game. Again, it's a rivalry game. Um. So, so we should be able to get some, um, but this should be a good game. So this should be an interesting game. Neither team is good. Like, but again, it's a different caliber of play when you're dealing with, uh, division rivals. So same thing, y'all. So, uh, let's see. Now he's questionable. So be careful. I've been seeing his name pop up from, um, NFL underground or underdog, whatever it is, but I don't know exactly what's the extent of like if he's playing or not. But again, they're giving up 237 yards. That's like the first bright green we've seen so far and 32 yards rushing. Now, um they're giving up 237 yards uh passing to the quarterback. 9 out of 10 times, the quarterback has hit 178 and a half, which is his line today. And they're not giving us no all lines there. Uh no art lines here. So in that situation, what I will look at is like they're giving up the passing yards nine out of ten. They're giving up the rushing yards six out of ten. So if I got to take one off the line, seeing that this is more. Now, usually I would need double green. But again, I really wanted the art line here. Like I would take this up to 200, maybe 210, 220 if they end up dropping art lines later. But for now, seeing that they've given that his line, 178 and a half. The only person in the last 10 games who haven't gotten that is, who is this, Justin Fields back in six weeks ago. So 178, I like this line. I like this line as well. I wish it was a passing plus rushing. I know they get that on some books, but this one don't have it for sure. Uh, Tyrone Tracy Jr. Okay, 30 yards receiving to the running backs is what the Cowboys give up. He averages 14. His line is 10. Oh, let me see if they got an all line. Uh, they're giving up 30. Let's see. 20, 25. All right, so I'll do 25. And he had 28 last game. I'll have I'll do 25 because the next one up will be 35. So I'll add this. That's like the first like actual gym we've seen according to like the two to one odds that we always looking for based on what the defense is giving up. But I tell you all the time, football is tricky because the way they do their art lines is so fishy. Um they're also I'm not adding it, but on average, they're giving up one touchdown to the running back one in their last 10 games. And it's and you actually get it at plus money. If that's something that you're interested in, if you're a touchdown person, they are averaging one touchdown. I know it's because multiple games, they've given up two or more 
which makes that average that. But that's just something to keep in mind. Okay, Devin Singletary. He is averaging 35 yards rushing, which is bright green. They're giving up 25. You only can take his line, but I like this line a lot. I was about to take the alt line at least up to 25, but seeing this bright green on both sides, his average is way over 15 and a half, and they're giving up over 15 and a half. So I'm going to add that as well. So, so far, you can see in the top corner, we got nine picks on here that we can choose from, mismatch, however you want to do it. Uh, Malik Neighbors, he's averaging seven receptions, 75 yards receiving. They're giving up five receptions, 70 yards receiving. So 75 yards he averaged, 70 they allow. His line is only 65 and a half. Like that line. Let me see. I doubt you can get anything of value. Yeah, it ain't really nothing up here at 70. Might as well just take the 65 and a half. Say yourself the extra five yards. Seeing there's not no like extra value there. Again, okay, Wandale Robinson. He's averaging six receptions with 40 yards receiving. They're giving up. 46 yards receiving. Let's see. 46, 45. Yeah, so you might as well see. And what I'm doing is, again, like I do NBA, I'm trying to come up and see without going over that line where the value is. But again, it's so tricky um, because the alt lines are so different in football. You might as well, I might as well just, like, if I'm going to take 40 or 35 right here in this area. I might as well just stay here and just take this 33 and a half. Minus 110 is good. That's like, what, 10 cents to a dollar. So that's damn near plus 100. That little minus 10 is just the vig of the books, you know, making their money. So I might as well just take the 110 and call it a day. Okay, let's see. Darius Slayton, wide receiver three. He's averaging three receptions, 47 yards receiving. <clears throat> They're giving up three receptions, 32 yards receiving. Both well over this 20 and a half. 30 and, yeah, see another one. So, like, 30 is the most I'll go, seeing that they're giving up 31. It's 155, but it's only on one book. So, I might as well just stay where I was at and just take the 20 and a half. Or, let me see, what about three receptions? Oh, damn, it didn't go from two to four. <laughs> it's a hard bargain they playing. Um, Actually, it's probably the, a game where I've seen the most. Um, like props, period. Uh, so we got Theo Johnson, defense versus the tight end one spot. They're giving up three receptions and 32 yards uh, receiving. He's averaging two receptions and 26 yards. Again, just take the line because I guarantee you I'm not about to get no value without going over 32, so that's stopping at 30. It's like, it's no point. I might as well just save myself the yards. It looked like it's going to be a lot of like, Regular line pieces, but again, oh, oh yeah, but again, four of those, four people at their actual line, that's a 10 to 1 plus 1,000. So even though you don't, you, we're not finding many gems, it still is good spots based on the players averaging in with the team is allowing to that same position where you can still get you 40s and uh, get you a plus 1,000, three, like a plus six, 700. So it's still value here. You're just going to be using... It seemed like a lot of people's regular lines. Let me see, Sam Laporta. Did I get, where am I at? Oh, I'm in the wrong game. What was we at? Slayton. Oh, we was on Theo. Okay, I got him. All right, and then you got Daniel Bellinger. Okay, now we over to the, uh, to the Dallas Cowboys. Um... I mean, I see green, but I also don't see that he run a lot. So it's like, I don't really see no point here. All right, Rico. They're giving up 27 yards receiving. That's the brightest green spot I'm seeing. Oh, and 86 yards. So let's see if we can get some value here. Let's see, 27. So let's go up to 25. You can get this at plus 194. Let me see which one got better value. I'll go up to what, 80 yards? They give you 85? See, you're only getting 85 on like valleys. So where would you stop at? 80? 80 here. Um, okay, so it's looking like it's more value in this. I mean, it's not by much, but... So then you're probably better off going... If they're giving up bright green here, bright green here, you're probably better off going here. Oh, and they'll give you all line. 112 is what they give up. So you can go up to damn near... What's this, 100? So we'll just say 100 rush plus receiving yards which is, uh, again, under 
the 112 they allow. I see bright green, bright green. You better off just probably taking the combo. Um, let's add this. All right. That's Rico Dotto. All right, here we got is Zeke. Um, his line is 14 and a half. They're giving up 18 and a half. He's averaging, I'm sorry, he's averaging 18 and a half in his last 10. They're giving up 28. Um, Love the line, 14 and a half, seeing that he's averaging more. They're giving up double the line, literally. And again, you take what you want. We have the 15 pieces. I'm not expecting you to play all 15, but at least we can keep track of what we like. And then you can dissect that down or further research into those players and go from there. Uh, okay, who is this? Brandon Cook. Um, he's averaging, and he this is his first game back, so be very careful. He's averaging 30. They're giving up 39. So his line should be appealing. Again, I'm adding them as we see them. That's in good spots, whether it's your line or it's a gym. You make you pull the trigger on exactly what it is you, you like. Uh, Jalen Tobert, he's averaging four receptions, 40 yards receiving, and he coming off back-to-back -back like the games, honestly, so he should be due for a game. They're giving up 30 yards. His line is 23 and a half. So, you, again, like, I'm not – yeah, 30, it's on one book, so you might as well just take the actual line. I like the 23 and a half, seeing he averages 40. They're giving up 30, which is both over the 23 and a half, so he should be able to get you 24 yards. And they're giving up 30 yards on two receptions. He's averaging four, so that should help out a lot as well. Okay. And last game, which is the primetime game. This should be a good game. Over 47 and a half, four, uh, four point spread. So, all right, out the gate. Uh, we got two. <clears throat> now, you got to be careful with him. I'd be scared to take his rushing yards because I don't know exactly what days these are, but it's like, I'd be scared for him. I see, I understand this. But I'd be scared for him. Like, you know, dealing with his head injuries to be running is crazy. So I'm trying to see some. Okay. They're giving you three yards at minus 115. So, again, I can't be by. I have to take it. I'm going to add it, rather, because both sides are bright green. He's averaging nine yards rushing this last 10. They're giving up 18 to the quarterback, the uh, Packers are. So I'm going to add it. Again, you make those final decisions on what you want. We up to 18 picks, which is probably the most I've seen especially in a three-game slate. Um, they're giving up 70 yards rushing to the running back one. Let's see if we can get us some value here. You can get 70 yards at plus 172. You can get 60 years, so 70 where it's on multiple books. I'm going to add that based on what they're allowing to his position. He added two games ago, so it's not like he can't. Uh, I'm going to add. Oh, it was actually two to one eyes on ESPN bets. Raheem. Uh, yeah, him. 13 and a half, y'all. 13 and a half. He's averaging 30 yards rushing. They're giving up 17. Again, his line should be valid. He's averaging 30. They're give up, giving up 17 to the running back, too. Um, I see his attempts going down. He's averaging eight, but I'm noticing these last couple of games, they're going down. Hopefully, he can get some old productivity today based on, like, defense. Uh, if they go up early... He will actually get more touches, so keep that in mind as well. Uh, Tyreek Hill is not in a good spot, but again, it's the cheat. Oh, well, I ain't going to even say it's cheated because looking at this, he get the targets, but, I mean, numbers don't lie. He's not really playing that well these last three weeks. These, his receiving yards is down like crazy. He ain't been playing well since like four, five weeks ago. So you do with that what you want. Um, okay, okay. Odell Beckham. Two receptions. He's averaging one. They're giving up two to 24 yards. Let me see. Um, and again, if I can't get no value here and both sides ain't green, I most likely won't touch you. Um, who is this? Johnu Smith. I like him. He's been going crazy lately. I mean, from this, he's not in a good spot, but I wouldn't be surprised. Like, his target's going up. He'd be going 101 yards rushing as the tight end. It's crazy. All right, they're giving up 12 and a half yards rushing. Um, This is the Miami defense to 
See, it's only on one book. I don't like taking props where it's gonna force y'all hand to go to one pl uh one one book. Um to Jordan Love and then with this passing yards look like don't look like much. Um okay. Josh Jacob, he's averaging 17 yards receiving. They're giving up 17 yards receiving. Again, you're getting double green spots. So 14 and a half should be good. At least it looked like it is. And then he have like a pattern as well. He have a couple bad games. Good. He had no he had a target. Nothing last game. They're giving up three targets on average to this running back spot. So let's see if he can get three, uh, a couple targets, you know, a couple screens, get us 15 yards, get in and get out. Uh, Jaden Reed. Okay. He's averaging 53 yards receiving. They're giving up 52 yards receiving. Again, both are over the 49 and a half. But Jaden Reed at the wide receiver one spot. I think Watson. Oh, they got him at the, okay. So I'm going to add this, seeing that both sides is green here. Wide receiver two spot. Um, Ain't much going on here with Christian Watson. He's actually, I mean, two games ago he did ball, but he, but even then, though, like four receptions, so he broke somewhere. He just ain't been having the year I expected as a Packers fan. Um, Tucker Craft, here we go. He's averaging 37 yards receiving in the last 10. They're giving up 45, 46 yards receiving. He's averaging, now his line is four. They're giving up four receptions. He's averaging three. So let's see, 46. Uh, what's this, 40? Oh, that's his line. Okay, so his line. Oh, no, his line is 32. Okay, so I'll take the 32 then. I'll take the 32 since, but he averaged over 32 in the last uh 10. They giving up over 32 in the last 10, so. Both sides green. You worth looking uh into. And then Ben Simmons. So that that is the last game, right? Okay. In and out, y'all. That wasn't all of 20 minutes. Three games. We got us some spots. I see 23 spots. Um again, you could play pause however you like. I want to see. So yeah, I'm gonna say the parlay shopper should be gone. But this is what we have that we found so far. It's a lot of people's lines. I've seen maybe one or two gems. Uh, if I see, let me see, Tyrone Tracy Jr. receiving yards was a gym. Remember, anything over two to one odds, and we didn't go over the average allowed. So I'm just scrolling through so y'all can see these players. I think it was one more gym somewhere in here. But we do have a lot of people lines that you can run as straights or um, you could pair together and make a couple parlays. Acne rushing yards was a gym, plus 200. Okay. So those are the 23 props that we did find that's in good spots based on the defense allowing over their line and their averaging over their line. So again, you can go in deeper and look into like however you like to research for trends, home away, verse, what, however you want to do it. But at least we know these 23 spots that I found all average more than their line today, as well as the defense giving up their line today. So, I like this. I'm going to start doing this, putting what we find in the best slip for the ones who may have not wrote it down so you got a better insight. And, again, you can play, pause, rewind to see these 23 um, props and then do what you want from there. So, thank you all again. Uh, we back tomorrow live. Again, Monday through Friday, we live every morning, 9.30 a.m. Eastern. We back live tomorrow. Alarms going off for no reason. Um, hope everyone enjoy their holidays please 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 be safe um if you're drinking ride peace out uh you know a lot of people in and out the city the state that they're in so just please be careful tonight i love you guys thank y'all for all y'all support again may the day be the best gambling day of you get gambling life i ain't gonna say tonight so keep that in mind see y'all tomorrow morning love y'all in a minute